after defining inverse trigonometric functions and doing some of the results here, the rest of the articles are left as an exercise to the students. We now go over to questions. Our question is to find the principal value of sine 1 by 2 cot inverse minus 3.4. The choices are 1 upon root 5, 2 upon root 5, minus 2 upon root 5, minus 1 upon root 5. In order to do this question, let cot inverse of minus 3 upon 4 be equal to alpha. Therefore, cos alpha is equal to minus 3 upon 4, where alpha is lying between 0 and pi. Since cot alpha is minus 3 upon 4, it lies in the second quadrant. Therefore, what we have here, cot alpha is minus 3 upon 4. That is minus 3 upon 4. This is alpha. O the origin, P the point, and L be the projection of P. Therefore, OP is equal to 5. Therefore, cos of alpha is equal to minus 3 upon 5 and sine alpha by 2 will be equal to square root of 1 minus cos alpha divided by 2, which comes out to be equal to square root of 1 minus cos alpha is minus 3 upon 5 divided by 2, which turns out to be equal to 8 upon 10, that is equal to 2 upon root 5. Therefore, sine of alpha by 2 means one half of cot inverse minus 3 upon 4 is equal to 2 upon root 5. Hence, the choice B is correct. Next question is to find the value of cos tangent inverse tangent of 15 pi upon 4. The choices are 1 upon root 2, minus 1 upon root 2, 1 and none of these. Now to solve this we know that tangent inverse tangent theta is equal to theta only if theta lies between minus pi by 2 and pi by 2. To get to the question now, cos of tangent inverse tangent of 15 pi by 4 becomes cos inverse, cos of tangent inverse tangent of, it becomes 4 pi minus pi by 4 which comes out to be equal to cos of tangent inverse of tangent of minus pi by 4, which is equal to cos of minus pi by 4, and that is equal to 1 upon root 2. Next question is, cot inverse of AB plus 1 upon A minus B plus cot inverse of BC plus 1 upon B minus C plus cot inverse of CA plus 1 upon C minus A is equal to the choices are 0, 1, pi by 4 and none of these. We know cot inverse AB plus 1 upon A minus B is equal to cot inverse B minus cot inverse A. Similarly, cot inverse BC plus 1 upon B minus C is equal to cot inverse C minus cot inverse B. And cot inverse CA plus 1 upon C minus A is equal to cot inverse A minus cot inverse C. Adding them, we get cot inverse AB plus 1 upon A minus B plus cot inverse BC plus 1 upon B minus C plus cot inverse CA plus 1 upon C minus A is equal to 0. Hence the first choice. Next question is if A, B, C are positive real numbers and theta is equal to tangent inverse of under root A times A plus B plus C divided by BC plus tangent inverse under root of B into A plus B plus C divided by CA 
plus tangent inverse square root of c times a plus b plus c divided by a b. Then to find the value of tangent theta, the options are 0, pi by 2, pi and pi by 4. Let square root of a plus b plus c upon a b c b equal to lambda. Therefore, a lambda is equal to a into square root of a plus b plus c divided by a b c, which comes out to be equal to a times a plus b plus c upon b c whole square root. Let a be equal to tangent inverse of a lambda, b be equal to tangent inverse of b lambda, and c be equal to tangent inverse of c lambda. Therefore, a plus b plus c is equal to tangent inverse of a lambda plus tangent inverse of b lambda plus tangent inverse of c lambda. Now consider tangent of a plus b plus c which comes out to be equal to tangent of a plus tangent of b plus tangent of c minus tangent a, tangent b, tangent c whole divided by 1 minus tangent a tangent b minus tangent b tangent c minus tangent c tangent a. Now I find a lambda plus b lambda plus c lambda minus a lambda into b lambda into c lambda equal to zero. Therefore, tangent of a plus b plus c is equal to zero. That shows tangent theta is equal to zero. Hence, the choice number one.